Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a book review on The Lie by Helen Dunmore. The Lie by Helen Dunmore takes place in 1920s Cornwall, following Daniel Branwell, who has survived the trenches of war. He lives his days in solitude, working on the land, but he cannot forget the horrors that he survived and the best friend that he lost. So first of all, as you can see, this is a ARC, an ARC edition that I did win through Goodreads, hence the terrible ugly ass blue cover here. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, like I just said, I won this through Goodreads, so thank you Goodreads, and I actually won this uh, many years ago. You guys, I'm, I'm reading and reviewing this very, very late, but better late than never, right? <laughs> Uh, you guys, this book, I, I ended up being so disappointed with this book. I, I went into this book thinking, oh man, this is going to be a five-star book. I can feel it. Because just everything about the premise was just speaking to me. You know, uh, this, is, this is after World War I, and it follows this guy pretty much suffering from PTSD. And, you know, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. You know, this is going to be great. I'm going to get five stars. I'm going to be emotionally heartbroken with this book. And no, <laughs> no, I ended up being pretty disappointed with this book, you guys. Now, let me get this out of the way because me sitting here saying I was disappointed with it, you may be thinking, oh, God, this is a terrible book. But this is actually not a terrible book, really. It's just, I, I think it's not executed well, I suppose is what I'm trying to say. Um... If anything, Helen Dunmore's writing, her writing is very beautiful and very descriptive and very atmospheric. I mean, you really, you really just feel part of this era and whatnot. I mean, even something like the location of Cornwall, you know, Cornwall is just a very specific place and a very specific type of mood and atmosphere, I suppose. And yeah, I think she really captures that location and mood of 1920s. Cornwall, and especially how she handles the trauma of Daniel Branwell. Wow, you guys. Uh, she handles the PTSD magnificently in this book. Um, sometimes with a novel you can be over the top with the PTSD or yeah, not enough of it. Um, I think the way she interpreted Daniel's PTSD in this book, it was very realistic. It was very believable. It was very terrifying. So yeah, that's what Helen Dunmore did magnificently with this book. She did an excellent job with Daniel's PTSD. She did an excellent job with the atmospheric location. And yeah, her writing overall was, was gorgeous, I think. But where this novel fails for me as a reader, I guess, the novel just fails with the fact that it's, it's a very short book. It's, it's not very long, you guys. Uh, it, it's not even 300 pages. And there's nothing that happens, nothing happens in this book, you guys, and I'm not exaggerating that. Nothing literally happens. <laughs> this novel is definitely very character driven, uh, which unfortunately, it lacks a plot. You know what I mean? That uh, When you read a book, you want a fine balance between plot and character, and this book has too much character, but no plot, unfortunately. So essentially what you get with this novel, you're following Daniel after the war and through flashbacks to when he was in the trenches of World War I and whatnot. And it is, it's a big story about his character, who he was before the war, who he is after the war, uh, his relationship with his best friend's sister, and also his relationship with his best friend, which provides for some interesting turns to the narrative. So I, I guess for me, I just needed more. You know, I really needed a lot more with this novel because it was just so heavily focused on the characters. But then even then, with the characters, it's, just, it's focusing on one specific thing for each character rather than kind of fleshing them out even more war, if that makes sense. And yeah, this book is called The Lie, and i that's kind of what I kept waiting for too, was just some big thing with a lie. Am I am I stupid? Did I not read this book correctly? Because when I finished this book, I, I was sitting here looking at the cover and I was like, wait a minute, 
what was the lie? What was the lie exactly? I don't know what the lie was. <laughs> now, at the start of this novel, uh, Daniel is living with this older, sickly woman. And uh, this literally happens at the beginning, so it's not a spoiler. Uh, this old woman, she dies within like the first couple chapters. And uh, at first I was like, well, is, is this the lie? The death of this old woman? Because Daniel, Daniel, what he does, he, he, I don't understand why he did this. Daniel, he lies about the death of this woman. I don't know if he's lying because he's, I don't know if he thinks of himself as a bit of an outsider in this town and he thinks people are going to think he murdered her, that she didn't just die in her sleep, you know? So, is that the lie? I don't know if that's the lie, the death of this old woman and he's hiding the fact that she died out of fear for himself, thinking that everyone might think he was the murderer? I don't know. It's very confusing. Because I don't understand why he couldn't just go to the authorities and explain, hey, this older woman that I'm living with, she died unexpectedly. I don't know why he couldn't do that. Because instead, he he jumps to conclusions. He jumps to the conclusion that, oh my god, if, if I tell everybody that she died, I'm going to be hanged or something. So, I don't know. I Once again, maybe I missed something, because maybe that's part of his PTSD D possibly, you know, him kind of jumping to conclusions and just instantly jumping to his own demise maybe? I don't know. So I don't know what the lie, what the title could possibly mean. I mean, could it mean the death of this older woman that he's hiding? Could it be the lie of his personal traumas? Because he's he never really comes out and explains his, his trauma to anybody. He's always kind of hiding that deep within himself. And then, yeah, there is a relationship between his best friend, um, who is a who is a man, so there is kind of this suggestion that he was in love with his his best friend. So I don't know if that is the lie as well, or maybe every all of this is combined. You know, maybe every bit of this is the lie. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I just don't know if I interpreted this book correctly or what. And like I already mentioned earlier, just to kind of keep on track with a, a, some positives, some positives here, here since I've been so negative, like I said earlier, I really liked how Helen Dunmore handled Daniel's PTSD. And yeah, my favorite parts of this book were the flashback sequences that took place in World War One and down in the trenches and whatnot. And yeah, Daniel's uh, relationship and friendship with uh, Frederick, the guy named Frederick and whatnot. So yeah, all of that was brilliant. There's a part of me that I wish Helen Dunmore, the whole book had been that, you know? I wish it had been all of that instead of post-World War I. So yeah, you guys, overall, this book this book was definitely a big disappointment for me. Uh, there were things about it that I, I liked and enjoyed, but at the end of the day, I was just really disappointed and there was just certain things lacking for in it for me as a reader. And yeah, it's like there were some interesting things going on, but I think definitely poor execution of how things kind of panned out and like it like I've already mentioned character but no plot so that's it for this book review you guys in the comments below have you read The Lie do you plan on reading it just let me know your thoughts down below so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you like this video you may like these other videos bye guys